hands. I mean, I do. With one of my bands, I do a, a really basic no hands thing. Uh-huh. And hearing you do that tonight, it's made me think I've got to go home and, and work <laughs> on that. I mean, the bends. You know, I just play a simple little melody I've yeah. learned by heart, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the bends, that's inspired me. Okay, good. Yeah, the bends weren't coming that good. I must have had a leaky harp or something. It wasn't. They weren't working that well tonight. Sounded but, great. But. <laughs> it's it's a good that's a great thing I'm so happy I learned that man yeah. I didn't know what I was gonna do with it when I learned it yeah. but that worked out great man well, keep kept me out of the labor pool man so. <laughs> well I I learned a little bit just because I joined a band and they said hey we've seen a someone said we've seen a, a clip of I don't know it'd probably be Sonny Boy the second mm-hmm. you know doing doing that can you do that and mm-hmm. I was like well no I can't do it so I kind of went away and worked on mm-hmm. it but I just learned this simple little melody so um I've heard Joe Felisco do it yeah, when he was over he did a great yeah, um, joke and, joke and, you know yeah. and and yours was great tonight so that's yeah, yeah inspired me um, but is it I mean does it register for you that you know you're talking about all the, these great the great guys who sadly we've lost now I mean you're one of the guys that everyone's kind of looking up to as, as you know, in, in the same way you would have looked up to to Little Walter. Well, yeah, that's yeah. I mean, that's all that's left is guys like you know, like us, you know. But <laughs> but yeah, I don't think anybody's. I don't think anybody measures up to those people. Mm. No, you know, you can learn that stuff, but you didn't invent that stuff. They invented that stuff, you know, and and also, for the same reason. There's a lot of reasons. Okay, those those guys were. Uh, they didn't have, three hundred TV channels. They didn't have. All the all the you know just all the distractions that there are now they didn't have, you know those guys and the, and, the, and they mainly came from very humble beginnings so they had when you got nothing else to do that was when I that was when I made the most progress on the heart man when I had nothing to do I had nothing else to do and I had that drive in me to just to just where I, I it was like an anger almost and 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 I was gonna learn that so good, and I was gonna get so great, and everybody was gonna kiss my ass, and I'd tell them all, oh, "Get to the hell," you know. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, and I was young, you know, and I had those feelings, you know. But, but that was the, you know, that's the kind of drive it takes, you know. Yeah. You got you got to have that 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 kind of drive and focus, and and those guys, man, they were they were, you know, they. That was their their own personal entertainment was playing, and their own personal challenge learning, and the, and 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 also it's a way out of being, you know, in a in a in a really bad situation, you know, when when, when it's when when you get, you know when when you have an opportunity to. Hopefully, make something out of out of mm. entertainment. Yeah. You know, out of music, being a, you know playing music and 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 doing something that compared to spending all day looking up a mule's ass. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but you, you can you know get something that you, you get chicks and you get money and you can drink and you don't stay up all night. You don't have to get up in the morning and work in the hot sun yeah. and all that. That's pretty good inspiration, right? Yeah. Yeah. So those guys, I think people were better. There, there are guys that that have that kind of focus. Yeah. You know, and that's the best guys now. Yeah, you know, yeah. the guys that have that kind of focus, but they don't have that kind of impetus. They don't have that. It's not a. Mm-hmm. They, they, I'm sure there's some part of them that 
is satisfying a need inside of them, which is what you have to have. Otherwise, it's a fun hobby, you know, and that's cool. But if you really want to make, you know, it's, if you're a big enough nut to make that your life, that's what it takes, you know, that's what it takes. You know. There's people, I mean, Joe Felisco is an incredible man. He's, uh, I mean, it's j just jaw-dropping. I mean, he's got a, a tone that's otherworldly. And 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 uh, he can play all those different pre-war guys, man, and play them just with such precision and such accuracy, you know. It's just it's just it's uncanny, really, you know. And he's he's an amazing person, really. Yeah. He, he yeah. If there was about fifteen percent more people like him in the world yeah. everything would be fine yeah. he's I mean there's, there's you do not see people that I mean his commitment to excellence in everything he does and also his integrity like if he says he's going to do something you can forget about it he's going to it's done it's as good as done you know, so he's he's a, a very unusual specimen, man, as a human being, man. And he's a, he's an amazing guy, man. He's all 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 harmonica players owe that guy a huge debt of gratitude, man, because he's the reason why there's harmonicas that are playable today. You know, and. And, and there's, you know, there's guys, I mean, there's great guys of, that I know of, of from my generation that are, you know, great players. Kim Wilson's a, you know, fantastic player. I've stood on the bandstand next to him and, and, and I uh, can't remember what was going on. Maybe somebody else was singing. And we were both, you know, we were both up there playing, and I was just listening to him comping. And he wasn't playing uh, even licks in between the the, the uh, vocal lines or anything at this particular time when this. And I was just listening, and the just the tension that he has on the reed when he's just playing softly and just a little simple rhythmic figure. But the tension on the reed, it's just, it sounds closer to Lil Walter than anybody I've, I've ever heard. I mean, it was, uh, he's, he, he's, you know, he's uncanny <laughs> as well, man. He's a great player and he can, and, and creative and, 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 you know, traditional and inventive at the same, you know. All that man, he's. Just I've I've seen Kim play, and he was awesome. Um, I haven't managed to get him to do an interview yet. Well, I haven't tried. Mm -hmm. uh, but Joe did. A, Joe Felisco did an interview, and he was such a lovely bloke. And we sat and chatted, and he was he was so humble and so knowledgeable. Um, so yeah, there's an interview on the channel with, with, uh, with Joe, Joe Felisco. Yeah. Ho hopefully. When Kim Wilson is over in the UK, I'll, I'll mm -hmm. try and arrange something with him because yeah. he's a hell of a player. Yeah. So I'm glad they're both around. I'm glad yeah. you're, you're still gigging yeah. And, yeah, and you've yeah. got a new album out. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I mean, you're off tomorrow to a, to uh, another festival across in England. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm just glad I got mm -hmm. the chance to see you. Thank you. It's, it's been a pleasure yeah. Yeah. seeing you play and, and speaking with you. Um, I think I'll let you go and get some sleep because okay, I know okay. you've, you've got some traveling to do okay, tomorrow. Not okay. not U.S. distances, yeah. but yes, you've yeah, still got a bit of a drive. Okay, but <laughs> and the the the, the, couple, the few guys I mentioned, there are others. There are <laughs> there, others. Well, there's there, so many. There's names. a handful. There's yeah. not a lot, but the guys of, you know, Steve Geiger is phenomenal. Just a great soulful player. Uh, you know, Rod Piazza. People know oh. him. Rod's a great player, yeah. man. There's there's you know, there's guys, you know, that from my generation that, that you know, we devoted 
big portion of our lives to to learning this stuff out of love, you know, out of and that's got to be out of love, man. You can't, you can't, you know, it's, it can't be coming from any place else because if you know if you're just looking for a, a slick get over, man, a way to you know just avoid labor. This, this ain't it, and it, those of us that have been able to do that is, you know, absurd amounts of luck involved, in it, and serendipity and <coughs> luck, and just yeah. So. Well, I'm glad you uh, you you made it, and you're still doing it. Boy, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me Long too. May man. It I sometimes I would, yeah, I, I'll just, I mean, yeah, it. I'll think about it, and I'll just feels just well up with gratitude and humility then other times I'll pass myself in the mirror in the motel room and just start laughing <laughs> just be like ha ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, I'm glad you're still enjoying it uh, I, I am you know that and that's great man I, I enjoy it more now than I did when I was younger and maybe there was more stuff happening and we were, you know, more in demand and all that, you know. I, I, I enjoy it more now. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, long may it continue. And, okay, uh, great. Thank man. you very much. Thank you, Lou. <laughs> thank you.